Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks Lessons Inventory, Units of Measure. We're going to be talking about setting up units of measure and what they are. In QuickBooks, in, we can only use units of measure utilizing the QuickBooks version Premier or the Enterprise Solutions in QuickBooks. So it's more of the uh, advanced uh, software there. If you're using QuickBooks Pro, you're not going to be able to utilize uh, this section or this Mo, uh, module of QuickBooks. Units of measure is uh, something we can actually show prices of different volumes. For instance, um, we can have prices and rates and, and costs based on the uh, uh, units of measure or gallons. We can have volumes of that nature. We can have measurements of uh, inches and, and, and uh, millimeters and we can convert those as well. Um, for instance, if a, a business purchases some sort of inventory using gallons and then they could sell that same inventory as gallons it's unit for unit or measure for measure we can also uh, certainly look at different measurements as well um, we can pr purchase them in, in in inches and sell them in in millimeters or whatever so we can have conversion rates as well for that so again utilizing this function is really only a function of quickbooks premier or enterprise sol uh, solutions um, quickbooks will use single units of measure as well as multiple units of measure in the s single units of measure can only be utilized um, and if, in the premier quickbooks premier versions uh, quickbooks premier quickbooks, Pr quickbooks premier nonprofit or quickbooks premier professional services but the units of measure for a single unit and multiple units per measure can be utilized in the accountant version, the premier contractor, the premier manufacturing and wholesale, as well as the QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions. So those products of QuickBooks can utilize the multiple units per measure as well. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to talk about setting up and how to set up a single un unit of measure in QuickBooks. So Again, our inventory, our items, our list are in the item list. A couple of ways to get to our item list. Of course, as you know, we can use the, um, get this message out of there. We can use the lists and choose item list or from your home menu. If you go to the right section where up here it says chart of accounts, inventory activities, just below the chart of accounts should be an icon that says items and services. If we click on that, it'll pull up our item list just as if we went to the list menu and pull down our item list there so in this measure we're going to go ahead, in this uh, particular part of the lesson we're going to add um, a unit of measure we're going to do that so we're going to go down to an existing uh, item that we have under lumber lumber and we're going to choose our decking okay and we're going to edit that so I can always hit control E to edit or if I choose item at the bottom of the, the window, choose item and choose edit. See where the quick function is, quick control E is also right there. So it's going to pull up our item of the decking of lumber. And the thing that we're going to do now is we want to look at the unit of measure and notice that it's not enabled yet. So we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on enable for this not an inventory part and we're going to see a couple of options for us a single unit per item a multiple unit per item so we're actually going to say it's a it's a, a single unit per item so we're going to click on that because we're going to set this up for this particular item that we're going to be selling we'll click on next and we'll see that uh, we can define uh, and begin defining the units of measure um, so we will go ahead and look at length for this particular item. That's inch, foot, yard, meter, etc. And we'll click on next. Notice the other items you have. There's count, there's each box, case, etc. There's weight in ounces, pounds, kilograms. There's volume, quart, gallon. There's area, square foot, acre, square meter. There's time, minute, hour, day. So there's variety of units of measure that we can choose from. In this case, for the decking, lumber, decking is going to be length we'll click on next and we can measure it 
in any way we like. We can measure in inches, yards, miles, foot, uh, millimeters, meter. But in this case, it's going to be lumber, and we're going to measure by foot. Select that radial button and click on Finish. It's going to bring us back to the item. Now we have a unit of measure. UM for unit of measure is by foot. We can edit that if we like and go back and say, well, I want to go back and change it and do something else to it. We're going to keep it as foot. Okay. Now that we